Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the 4th of March. We're looking at the Dow down 80 at 39,002, uh, right on the 39,000 level. <clears throat> this is very interesting. We've been one, two, three, four, five, six, six sessions in a consolidation, not breaking down, but not moving to new highs. Holding that 14-period uh, moving average, uh, which is at 38,861 as key support, hasn't gotten down there today. What I said to subscribers based on this Chapman Wave Roman candle that we had on Friday, um, if the Dow holds for 90 minutes below 38,920, <clears throat> there's a real good chance to not, not only break the low of yesterday, but go even lower. And the resistance is up a, a little bit higher than um, where we are, the higher today is 39,035. I think we could even test 39,080s, maybe 39,120. But I'm looking at this and saying, and we are just on a trading position. We're still short the Dow. Um, long term, we're still very positive. Those weekly charts are fabulous. Looking at the S&P, S&P at this particular point had a high. Oh, I forgot to type it in. Let me do that right now. High on Friday of five thousand one forty point nineteen five thousand one oh four point ninety nine type it in oh can't be right what am I saying one thousand forty point thirty three there we go one thousand forty point thirty three forty point thirty three um down four and a half at 51, 32.62 right now. So it hasn't taken out that high, but it's still holding pretty well. I mean, five points, you can do that in an eye blink, right? But it's a leg B in the weekly chart. And if it doesn't go above 51, 40.33 this week, that becomes a peak B. I'm watching this really closely, and I'm going to tell you why in a moment. Let's go to the QQQ. QQQ uh, down uh, 0.76, not a big deal, at 444.81. Had an all-time high. I, I thought I'd done that during the weekend when I showed my uh, weekend overview. Uh, four, 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 six point five eight. So let's type that in. Four, four. There we go. Four, six point. Now we're looking at uh, at four, four, four point eight four. We're down seventy four cents. Leg C in the weekly chart. I'm watching this very closely because uh, the the MACD is just cross positive. The stochastics at, at 93. That's very that, that's very good. On balance volume is rallying. It's not overbought. It's just running very nicely. The nine is over the 14. So there's still internal strength. Looking at the IWM Russell 2000. Uh, this is a leg E in the daily chart. <clears throat> it's up 85 cents. At 206.76, it hit 207.77. That's nicely above the 205.49 high of December of this past year. Uh, all time high is 244.46. So we're going to be watching this. Let me just move this across here. I like to always have this nice and neat. There it is, leg E. Now, this is going to be very interesting. Why? Because the SMHs, I want to see where they close today. If they close well off the highs, I'm going to be watching this because it broke the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. This is now a pro balance zone in the very short term. And that makes the first level of support 217.30. And the next level of support is 215.88. Those are the levels to watch in the SMHs if there's any pullback at all. And I'm, I'm going to go through it in a moment. Uh, yes, we'll look at that peaky GBTC. We'll do that right now. GBTC is Bitcoin. Another very strong session today. Uh, I'm calling this a leg F in the daily chart. Leg G. It could be an instant restart, but I'll call it G for now. In the weekly chart, it's up 2.88 to 59.19. That is outstanding action. 
So E, and we go for with an F right now, and then we might have to make adjustments. You can see all the technicals are very overbought. Oh, yeah, overbought technicals are overbought, but until the price acknowledges that, let's just look at the Bitcoin because you wanted to see that as well. Bitcoin is in a leg F on the daily chart, very strong up uh, 3,010, up 3,000. I mean, wow, um, at 66,860, this is, in fact, I, as far as I can see, it's going for a test sometime in the next month or so. It could be sooner, but I'm saying in the next month or so of the all-time high in the Bitcoin continuous contract that was made back in uh, November of 2021 at 73,790. Who would have thought that it could go back so quickly? Yes, going back is one thing, but from a low that was in 18,000, what was the low? 18,740? Huh, that's quite a move. All right, let's get back to our story. EUR, USD, that's the euro dollar currency pair. <clears throat> up at 1.08, up 0 0.0017. Looking at the uh, USD, JPY, that is the US dollar Japanese currency pair. Up 0.32 at 150.42. Can they all be right? Can the dollar, which is just pulling back a hair, uh, now it's down two ticks at the 200 period moving average. Now it's done that before. This was resistance. Now it's support. This line, the 200 period moving average. You're going to be watching this very closely. I want to see if your gold closes the day. The follow through to the upside so far up uh, 10 is very good action considering that this is the third big green candle in a row. And um, making the 2080 key support. If there's a close by uh, Wednesday of this week below 2080, that is, this is like a, a one-off. I don't know about that because we're looking at the GDX on Friday. The GDX now is up very nicely. It had a good candle on Friday. Uh, a, a gap up, continuous move up, up 59 cents at 27.91. Now look at this. If you look at the GLD, the GLD is the Spider Gold Trust. It trades at one tenth the price of uh, of gold, spot gold. Now, isn't this interesting? When you're looking at the big picture, it's leg D in the weekly, leg C in the monthly, leg C in the daily. That's like a big arch formation. Sorry, a big cup formation right here, and it's breaking above the previous high. Is it breaking above the previous high? Let me just double check here. I think that was it. So we're going to type it in at 194.45. Let me type that in 194.45. And look at this today's high is 194.60. <laughs> it broke it by a couple of pennies. That's very important because that makes us a leg C. Not an alternate count, leg C in the, in the monthly chart. I was asked if I could look at physical, that's pH. Did I type that in the wrong place? Yep, wrong place. Right here, the physical gold. Yeah, that, that is also broken through above that type of state back, I think, in July or August of 2020. And that was uh, 16.15. Today's high is 16.30. Hasn't quite got there yet. But those, look, that doesn't look like gold, right? But that, it's very different. Actually, that's a very powerful. Thing. All right, I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, Tiger Finishes out. Dow's down 111. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years 
years' experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. Uh, we're back and I'm looking at uh, a question came in besides the Bitcoin. Could I look at Galaxy Digital? So Galaxy Digital holding, I think it must be in uh, Bitcoin or something like that because it's acting like that. It went right to the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart, 11.04. It's trading right now at 10.66, up 36 cents. Um, yeah, this is holding very nicely. All the technicals are very good. And I would just say to you, 9.83 to 8. 8 is key support on the shorter term. If it takes it out, then that weekly chart says I'm going to have a bit of a rest here. And I'm anticipating that the Bitcoin is getting close to some kind of a rest period. But wow, a rest period what? When you're up uh, in, a, in a week and a half from the 50,000 level to the uh, 67,000 level, uh, here we would have to put the uh, consolidation at a between... 58,000 and I'd say 55,000. That's going to be key support if there is a pullback. And now the question comes in, if Bitcoin does pull, if it stays high, are you going to see a continuation in the gold? Well, gold um, up 12 right now. This is really good action on the short term. The weekly chart says there's still a lot to go. But they, remember, I spoke about this Friday. I said that on that pullback uh, three weeks ago, <clears throat> the nine period moving average held green. It didn't go pink. And that's usually a big positive when it comes back and holds it. It means you've got a nice springboard. Uh, you've got a trampoline type move, which is exactly what we've got. Does it stall is the question. And uh, will money come out of the trading of not not the longer term positions, but the trading positions of Bitcoin may be going to gold if the gold stocks. Let's just look at it. We look at ASA very often as a South African gold miner. It's up 31 at 14.19, uh, very good action, very good action on the last two days. But if you look at the weekly chart and monthly chart, horrible, horrible action. Let's look at GLD, GL, uh, G, G O L D, gold that used to be um, Barrick Gold, I believe. Yep, Barrick Gold. Whoops, what happened there? Let's see if we can get that. There it is. In leg B. Very nice move. It was down to the 13s. Now it's at 15.22. Looking at the weekly chart, oh, gold needs a lot to repair the damage. But this is good action. Let's look at silver. Is that commensurate? Silver is uh, trading 
up towards the 200 period moving average at 2381. It's at 2370 right now, up 33 cents. I'm looking at this on a weekly basis. Yeah, we've seen this kind of action before. It's what happens next. And that to me is really important. And I do think, yes, in a way we have to look, I, I've looked at these and said, you've got to think of each one separately. Um, the relationship between gold and do the dollar isn't like it used to be where one went soaring to the upside, the other one just plummeted. You've got support, you've had support in gold, even as the dollar is held well. If you look at the dollar on a weekly basis, it's just, it's pretty good. It did a nice rally, but now it's just stalled, but it's not breaking down yet. It's at 103.81, now it's down uh, five ticks. I wouldn't be surprised if a little later on in the day by three o'clock, we'll start to see, is this going to be a test that it starts to take out the 10, uh, the 103.40 key support this week? Could do that today, could do it tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Or does it rebound a little bit? Very important. I just showed you the other currencies in a way they're all on their own trajectory just for the moment. I want you to show you bonds. Uh, bonds, let's go to the TLT. The TLT is down 57 cents at 93.91. See, not all the little ducks are sitting in a row. This should be up at the 95 area, not 93.90 right now. If it's going to go commensurate with gold, uh, just to say, Dollar pulls back, yields come down, uh, gold goes up, and that is still very bullish. Does that mean that the market is ready for yet another buying phase? It's getting a little questionable, that. And as I see it right now, let me just go to crude oil, because crude oil, if it was spiraling to the upside into the 82, 83 area, I think that would add another bit of pressure. No, this is a, a normal pullback, 50 cents at 79.46. So here's the big question for me. The XLF. I like to look at the different sectors. XLF is holding quite nicely. It did go to a leg F, a peak F, that is, on Thursday, I believe it was, right there. Is that going to recycle? What is that going to do? Right now, it's holding very nicely. Uh, JP Morgan. JP Morgan is trading right now. Oops. <laughs> Type it onto the, that little rectangle right there. JP Morgan. Yeah, JP Morgan is making a new all-time high as we speak. It's up at 186.55, up $1.27. Um, I think that's a leg E. Yeah, that's a leg E. Oh, wait a minute. Why do I get an E? F, G. Yeah, that's what it is. Sorry. Let me just notate this correctly. Not sure why I did that. F and a G slash C. After the instant restart. Remember how important those restarts are? If after peak D, within three bars, you make a new high, a uh, higher high than the left side peak D, that gives you an alternate count. Uh, if it's within three bars, it's done that. Now, I wanted to show you something else, RTH. RTH is the retail index. So Amazon, of course, is part of that, RTH. This is like a little worm climbing, uh, climbing the branch of a tree. Look at this, higher highs, higher lows, just a very narrow move. This is usually extremely positive. It just keeps going until suddenly it takes out three or four left side bars because it has a big pullback. But that doesn't mean to say that's the end of the road. Except look at the nine period exponential moving average. Look how high that is. But yet the MACD is at 99.02, uh, almost 100%. I've never seen 100%, but I have seen, uh, wait, did I ever see 100%? I think that's what I said recently that I saw 100% and I forgot to write down what it was. But it's very seldom, right? It trades between 100% and 20% uh, and 0%. So in this particular instance, 206.85 up 39 cents, leg D in the week in the daily, leg C, still only a leg C, and I call this a phantom peak. This could actually be a B. If that's the case, this is the most incredibly bullish market scenario that we've had forever. And what we're looking at is, Leg D, yes, in the, in the monthly chart, but so far, let's look at the XRT because this is retail as well. This is the S&P, retail sector. Now, this is in a leg E to the upside in the daily, leg D in the monthly. Uh, so that's, an, that's the weekly chart. I was doing two things at once, leg E right there. Um, and the left side high that I was looking at when I drew the cup formation is right there to go, right here. No, it was a mistake. Go back again. 
and go there. Look at that. So, um, look, it's gone to all the, all the resistance levels on the left side, going back to uh, 2022, 2023. I could have drawn this in as one long horizontal line. It's gone above that. There's a chapter wave inside wedge target re resistance line. It's gone above that. Nothing to say that this is uh, bullish. That isn't bullish. This is all very bullish so far. And the um, XRT weekly um, unbalanced volume is on the very short term getting a, a little bit overboard. But actually, this is still pretty darn good action. You know, so far, everything looks quite bullish, doesn't it? But I want to go to something as we return for a look at those semiconductors. I'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, just had a question about uh, GitLab Inc. A shares trading at 73.15 down 15 cents. Um, don't they have earnings coming out this week? I think they do. Anyway, hugging the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart, and that's at 70. Okay. That is at 73.02. And right now it's at 72.94. So this is going to be very important because. Um, Earnings lately, any of the tech sector, if they've been even positive, mildly positive, they've had a big spiral to the upside. 
But this once hit, this was up in the 130s. It came down to 26.24 uh, back in May of 2023. And now it's uh, more than double that, almost three times that in 73. What happens next? And that's going to be important for this stock. So the question is, uh, <clears throat> where are the support and resistance levels? Obviously, the re resistance level on a closing basis is a high of 78.53. It was made on the uh, 9th of February. That was the high of the little doji candle at PD before it pulled back. And support, bigger term support is the uh, daily chart, low of 66.09. It was made on the 21st. So within that context, I'm just going to draw the rectangle here. And that rectangle says these are the parameters we're looking at. But normally without earnings, I'd say let's make it a little bit different. Let's make it more like this right there. And that's the inner rectangle that we'd be looking at, making the 7680 level uh, resistance and making the 70, you could call it 69 level, very near term support. Now, I don't know what you want to do if you're long. What I would do is, because it's making higher highs and higher lows in a very steady way, I'd, I'd keep a core position and I would just let it do what it's going to do. If it pulls back um, and then has a bounce, then maybe you take something off. I don't want to say to you right now, change your position. It's done well. It's had a consolidation. Anything can happen after earnings these days. Um, if it does spiral higher, I would say take that as a gift and that you want to take something off if it bounces sharply. Um, if, if it's, say, tonight and it bounces sharply and, and holds that in the morning, I take a little bit off. But other than that, it's just in this rectangle. It can digest these gains uh, for a little bit longer. And if it has the 200 period moving average in the weekly chart, uh, which should be, uh, I'd say that's a pretty good magnet line, uh, 72.29. Just bounce up and down around that for a little bit before it makes up its mind whether it wants a brand new uh, rally to the upside to, to break that leg uh, B. Either it's going to be a peak B because it pulls back immediately or it goes extends leg B and that would be very positive. Yes, it's looking good. Uh, Daily is a little bit over... over uh, how can I put this? The nine period moving average is it's just in a digestive phase for the daily. <clears throat> and the weekly chart tells you that the technicals are still very good. Let's see what happens in price. So I, I wouldn't be doing anything right now. The next question came in. Oh, did I go there? I didn't. Okay, let me just go there for a moment. Yeah. So, uh, question. Yeah, let's just do this. So let's look at MU, Micron. Micron is trading up 84 cents at 95.96. So that's in a leg. I'm calling this a leg B because that took out the start of leg B right there. That was back in January. Uh, that was at 80.59. At 80 and that was the third. Yes, the third of January. It ran up to peak A, peak B, peak C, peak D. D is what you want to get in the Chapman Wave methodology. It did a 90.04 and pulled back sharply. But this move up now from the 79.15 low of the 20th of February, peak A, leg B. I have to call that a B. There's no other way I can call it right now. Leg E in the weekly and leg C in the monthly with all time high. Well, most recent high in the monthly chart of, in 2022 of 98.45. Double top there, remember 9696, then it goes to 98, 90, uh, 9845, and then plummets down to the 49s, and here it is at 95. So everything here is still very positive. So uh, key support will be underneath this gap, so it'll be in the 91s. It's at 95, 99. Um, resistance is up in the 98s, right? So that's that. Um, NVIDIA. Now, this is fascinating to me. NVIDIA had an 800. Let me just show you. It's trading right now 850.10, up 27.31. Uh, it had an 800 open on Friday, and it closed at around number 823.00 on Friday. Today, it gaps up, and I typed in the round numbers. But they're already gone. So the round number, I have eight, two, three. How can that be? 
Oh, that was oh, that was the, the close on Friday. So this morning I saw a round number, I didn't type it in, but now it's all gone. So uh, that's what's been happening because if you look at ARM, uh, ARM Holdings, Semis, Licensing had a round number 164.00. I should have put the date in because I'm going to have to keep going back to this. That was on the 12th of February comes down to the 115, 17s, and it's trading out 139, and I didn't see any round number today. Uh, the open was 145.39. No, I didn't. Not yet. And the other one I was looking at was SMCI, Super Micro Computer in the semis. I got, look at the, look at the round numbers. I, I've actually made them gray now because it's spoiling the look of the chart. And even today, what happened was it had, a, oh, has that changed? Yes, it's changed. That is fascinating. Um, yes, so today I had thought it had a round number at the open. Yes, it did. 1,039, You're up in the thousands, and you, you trade with the round number. It had a, a high on... It's got tons of highs. It, on Thursday, it had a high 997 round number. It had an 839 low. On Friday, it had a 927.00 high and an 881 low round numbers. And today, it spiked up and it had that round number at the open. I, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. I, my, my gut tells me what it means. It means people are so hysterically buying it that they just grab it. And uh, that's how you see the round numbers. But you never got the round numbers before. So I'm going to look and see what it means later on in March if we start to pull back sharply. But if it goes up, then I've never seen anything like this before. If in three weeks' time, this is trading in the 1300s or 1400s, not this week, I'm talking about in three weeks' time, uh, that will be unbelievable action. Uh, because I've most of the time when I see round numbers, it's either a significant low or a significant high if it doesn't take it out very quickly. So we've got leg D in the weekly chart, leg E in the monthly chart, and this is now a leg E, I'm calling it E for now, in the daily chart that's Supermicro, SMCI. I'll be right back. We've got a bunch of things to talk about, questions that have come in. About the, what would you do with SMCI right now after this run? Uh, induced by S&P 500. Oh, yes, it was uh, included in the 500. Oh, okay, we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, just the, the parameters. Okay. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So just before we go to let's do this finish now. SMCI, if you still have it, what would you do? The most obvious thing that I can say is to take something off because it's just been a spectacular winner. Even today, would you have anticipated on Friday that it would be up um, 185 points? Yeah, that's uh, that's not chump change. So all I can say is I do two things. One is I'd raise the stop. I'd keep the call, forget the call. But on a trading position, I'd take a tad off and I'd have a stop, but let it, if you're taking a tad off now, and yes, and, and Friday, you're 186 points lower, I'd rather take the tad off now than have a trading stop. Why? Because this is what you've got in hand right now. It's, it's a gift that was given to you, number one. And number two is, if you want, you could split that by saying two thirds of whatever I was gonna take off now, I'm taking off one third. Either you got a trading stop, or I just put a stop right here, like at a thousand. Nice round number, thousand. What was the high right there? It was nine hundred. That was a thousand and three. Yeah, on the twenty uh, second, twenty <laughs> second of Feb. So I would I put something off. I take right now, and I'd have a trading stop if you're able to watch it. You could even put it in as a fixed stop, right? Um, now, what would I do? Let's just say in a week's time, is trading under 700. All right, that means it's a 30, uh, it's a 300 point, it's a 300 point decline from here. That's when I would say think time, and probably price as a consolidation. But until you see it really doing that, you have to consider the weight of evidence suggests that buyers keep coming in, that's why you're getting the round numbers, and they've been rewarded. That's really the most important thing. All these buyers, all these things in the 600s and 700s, 945.00, 865.00, they've all been rewarded, even here at 862 and 814, everybody, even right here, what is this, 790? I've just got over and over. They've all been rewarded for just grabbing and running with it. And if you're buying in the seven or 800 uh, area or the 600, you're looking fantastic. So the, as soon as we start to see hubris, as soon as people take their hands off the wheel to pat themselves on the back, consider themselves geniuses, um, there's buying coming in here. When the suddenly, and it'll be speed, I suspect when, when this pulls back, it's not gonna be a little lower highs and lower lows, it's just a sudden whopper of a pullback taking out a whole bunch of supports, but you aren't there yet. You're, well, that's it, what it looks like so far. So that's why I'm saying take a little bit off, uh, even if you split that by taking a little bit more of that little bit off and keeping some part of it, that's fine. Next question was a statement, IBM is starting to move again. So IBM is trading up 2.44%. It's up 4.57 at 192.70. So this has been a real great winner. Look at that spectacular one, two, three, four, four months of straight up move from the 130s 
to the most recent day of 196.90. Here we are at 192.76. IBM is in the Dow, and that's kind of important just in the sense that it's also helping the Dow. So here you are, peak A, gray A, and a gray B. Why is it gray? Because it's, I don't have all the technicals, even the MACD hasn't turned positive yet. Stochastic is actually quite good. I, uh, uh, the on-balance volume is quite good, and the 9 is over the 14. So what I'm looking at here is in this arch formation, and this just says maybe you've got even a little bit more time until it tests 196.90. Let's go to, oh, I would love to use that candle. I can't. So I have to use this right here. So this is not your standard uh, left side, right side price time match. That's the right there. Bar symmetry or, no, that's, yeah, I, I'll just do that for the moment. I, I wanted to take to this tiny doji candle. I have to, I can't take it there. I'm going to give it another two days. So put it over there. Yeah, that says by Thursday or Friday, there could be a test of the 196.90 uh, all time high. And we'll have to see because if it, and I call it gray, let me make it gray. Because the technicals haven't confirmed, um, even a buy signal is very close, but it isn't there. That's a brand new buy signal. So that's the way I'm looking at IBM. Fabulous action. And remember, we're looking at the oldies morphing into something that's so contemporary that they're looking absolutely fabulous. So IBM has been reincarnated as, um, I don't know whether it's the cloud or the AI, whatever it is, IBM is right in there. Okay, talking about I, um, AI, yeah, I've got to look at AI. AI is, so AI is the Global X Artificial Intelligence ETF. It's trading at 33.99, up 8 cents. Um, it's really not spectacular moves. It's good moves, but not spectacular when you consider this is the AI sector. It hasn't even taken out that left side high in the weekly chart that we were looking at for so long. And that's the 33.45 uh, all-time high of the week of the 19th of November 2021 with a tiny doji candle at 33.43. And that was it. It came all the way down to the uh, 8, what was that? 18.01 area. Uh, that was 18.01 in October, I think it was, of 18.01 of 2022. So, yeah, it's acting quite nice. Oh, you want to uh, support levels. So, support levels is at 33.99. It's gone above the 30, 96 high of Friday. So, that says the support level will be 33. I would just say 33 to 32 would be key support. And I'm saying this on a daily basis and on the weekly basis. A break under that says, uh-oh, that's not good. What you want to see is this week, preferably even today, it breaks down to a 34 round number high. Uh, no, 34.2 is, is being hit. I want to see it try to get to the 34.50s. If it can do that, that's telling me that the generics the sector itself, the AI, artificial intelligence ETF, is doing well. All right, let's do this. I said I'd look at it. AMZ, AMZN, Amazon, Amazon, right here. Uh, trading at uh, not a new all-time high. That was at 188.65 back in July of 2021. But it's a very nice move up 100, at 179.94. High so far is 180.00. I've, I've just never seen this before. Let's go to um, Apple. Apple was looking lousy last week, looking lousy. To, oh, gap yeah, down today, down 5.39. Apple is in the Dow. That's an impact in the Dow negatively while IBM is coming up. 174.43, down 5.23. I had mentioned the 200 period moving average of 180.40. Um, it's, if it goes through that decisively, that's a big deal. That makes Apple a very weak link in this whole tech sector. Let's look at Goog. Looking at Goog, down also sharply, down four at 134.08. Uh, getting to the 200 period moving average of 133.09. Huh. And I said that I don't know how to count this. There's no other way. That is a peak C in the weekly chart. 
uh, but a leg D, a peak D in the monthly chart. Not good action. This is very selective. Dow's down 107. S&P's down just 2.40. Dow's a trap. You fight. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter a must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN educating investors everything in the universe is governed by the fibonacci sequence this mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market to stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of sign up for the fibonacci 24 7 newsletter at tfnn.com when you subscribe you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader larry pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to and you can trust larry's analysis after all he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi folks, so we've got AU, which is uh, Angler Gold. Uh, that is Shanti up sharply. Uh, that's done very nicely. It was down the 15s. Now it's a 20. It's a very good move over a period of a month and a half. A, A, B, yep, B, and there's another A, B. So there's a, uh, oh, there's an A. 
B, C. Yeah, it's already in a D. Um, that's good. Uh, that's a 200 period moving average. Look at uh, 19.11. How does it break above? Well, it breaks above by gapping on the first day of the week. So that gap is going to be really important. Why it's done that before, not with a gap, but it's moved over that 200 period moving average. But that's like a magnet line. It keeps drawing it in. So this is going to be just a really important week, I think, for gold, uh, just for the general market. I I'm anticipating that we're going to start to see a slowing down of the buying in the uh, semis. And if the semis start to pull back, then we've got to see what takes its place. How does the IWM loss of 3,000 hold? Are we moving sector to sector? Will we then go into gold? What's going to happen? Very important this week. 